Hey, I'm JC with FX Insights at CIS Trading. In focus, the all-new updated CIS CCT Capital Performance Indicator. I've added a few things on this indicator just so there's a little more utility to the capital performance indicator in and of itself and not so much interpretation. So let me go over each of the metrics very quickly for CIS CCT capital performance. The CIS CCT cost, which is at the very top on the right hand side on the label, you see that there at 6.24425. That is the total cost on the capital performance. And then there's the bond premium, the yield, the real cost of capital, and in the very center, something very new for the CIS CCT capital performance indicator. It's taking a combination of the TradingView Toolkit market depth and the pro metrics and putting that together with the net capital performance and the algorithm execution. So we're looking at a one minute chart for the British pound Australian dollar. And what we're looking at here at CCT dollar performance, if you look at that, it's blue and it says 0 0.00001. That's one pip. All right. And it's projecting that that's a, now it's down to eight ticks and it's projecting that that's the move down. And now it's saying 2.4 pips downward. So what I've added to the CIS CCT capital performance indicator that's created a lot of value is something that actually measures relative to the bond that you're trading in the foreign exchange market. It actually measures the exact projected expectation in real time on whatever time frame chart, whatever underlying that you're primarily trading. It will calculate the net move in the market that it's expecting. So currently it's expecting about six and a half pips down and that's back down to six pips and it will track what that projected move is from the open of that candle relative to the CIS CCT capital performance standards, which is the Quorum Capitalism Theorem performance standards. So this is the British pound Australian dollar and we're looking at a one minute chart projected five pip move down from the open, the open value is around 86.31.7, so five pips down, 86.26.7 is a possible target there, and you can see we have around a 25.6 target, and that just moved up and flipped to about nine ticks higher. So you get a real-time execution with this CIS CCT capital performance update to this indicator. I'm going to go through the time frames very quickly so you can kind of see the differences. So the projection for the one minute is one and a half pips up currently. Projection for the five minute is about two, uh, 2.1 pips down. 15 minute, looking at the 15 minute chart, it's projecting about seven pips down and drawing in some six nine. One hour chart, one hour chart projected 34 pips down. So when we look at this one hour chart, you go to the open value, just a rough number, 86.53. You're looking at about 32 pips down, and that puts you at about 86.21, and we're currently trading at 86.31. You can see the Prometrics target all the way down to 86.07. So you can take that, that target there and go back into your shorter time frames, like the one minute, where am I currently? I'm currently at about five ticks down short on that play. Four hour chart. Four hour chart, we have 46 pips down from the open and currently the open 86.64. So 46 pips is 86.18. So you can see we're somewhere between that 86.18 to 86.26 or so range so far through those time frames. And I'm just going to stop with the daily just so you can kind of get an idea. This British pound Australian dollar with the CCT market vision, um, GG market vision has a very unique uh, configuration because of the huge top tail up to the 93 level. 
So it's a little bit different, but just to get an idea, it's showing at least a net for the day, 21 pips down from the open. So when you look at that open value on the day, it's at 54, 21 pips down is about 33 and a half, and we're trading right now at 29. Now I'm up to about 25.8 on that short from 55. That puts me right about where we are, right around 86.30 from the open value of 54.4. So we're right there, kind of where that daily projection is. So from there, what we would do is look at our four hour, see where we are on that. We still have some room to go on the four hour. Look at the one hour, we still have a little bit of room to go, 34 down on it. And then go into our five minute, one minute, and we're looking at the one minute, uh, projecting about three and a half pips short from the open on that one minute candle. And that was 32.6, three and a half pips, puts us roughly about 29.1, and we're trading at 30 even. Had a little bit of a bounce there from the open, which was roughly about 29.4. So we almost got all the way down to that 29.1, so we could see a little bit of a, a push down toward that level on this candle. Once again, I'm JC with FX Insights at CIS Trading, the author and instructor for pro trading, the creator and developer of TradingView Toolkit 2018, Thinkorswim Toolkit 2011, Pro Trading 2008, and the all new updated CIS CCT Capital Performance Indicator, including the CCT Dollar Performance in Trade, Total Net Cost added onto that indicator.